Hey everybody, Daniel Moznet here with Cowboy Charcoal. We've got another great recipe on the pellet grill with our Cowboy Charcoal and Hickory pellets. Now you're gonna love this one. It's everybody's favorite cauliflower. That's right, it's cauliflower. And before you keep scrolling or go to the next video, I want you to give cauliflower a chance because it's an absolutely fantastic vegetable. You just have to cook it right. It's not the days where you just throw it in the pot of boiling water and let it stink up the house. We're gonna show you how to put some good smoke flavor into it, maybe introduce a little bit of butter and Parmesan cheese, but it's gonna taste fantastic. And it's really simple. All we have to do is take our head of cauliflower and we're gonna clean these little green leaves off the back, but we're gonna make sure that we leave the core intact. If you take the core out, all of the little flowerettes are gonna fall off. So leave the core, just make sure it sits nice and flat. We'll set that in our cast iron pan and we're gonna coat it with a little bit of olive oil, okay? Olive oil is gonna help our seasonings bind and that roasted olive oil flavor tastes really good with cauliflower also. So you wanna make sure that you get it nice and coated. You're probably gonna use about, I don't know, a few tablespoons or so. As much as you think you need. You wanna make sure you get it on all sides, the top, the bottom, and do it right over the top of your cast iron pan because the rest of the olive oil that drips down will just continue to roast, okay? So now that we've got our cauliflower well coated, we're gonna add a little bit of seasonings. The first seasoning we're gonna add is Girl Carnivores Over Easy. Now this is great literally on anything. You can put this on eggs, you can put it on your vegetables, you can put it in pasta, literally it goes on everything. So we're gonna just sprinkle a little bit of this right over the top. You can use uh, your fingers and just get a little bit of a pinch, but I wanna make sure we get nice coverage all over the place. And see how that olive oil is helping to bind all over? We need a little bit more olive oil right here. Okay. And then we'll add just a little bit more. A little windy out, so our seasoning's kind of getting away from us. Once we add our over easy, we'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like my things just a little bit spicy. And once you think you have good coverage all over the place, you're done. That's it. That's 100% of the preparation for your cauliflower. Now, with the magic of television, we have one that's already cooking. And this is what it's gonna look like after about 25 to 30 minutes in the smoker. You're gonna cook this all together for about 40 to 45 until it's nice and soft and a toothpick will go through very easily. So this is where the really good flavor comes in. We've got just a little bit of butter. Put this one in. Let that cook. Let that cook for about 20 to 25 minutes at 400 to 450 degrees. And when it comes out, it should look just about like this. We're gonna take our butter. We'll add a little bit of minced garlic. And we'll mix this up here a little bit. And then we're gonna just base that all over the top. Make sure that you get the butter into all of those crevices all over the place. We also have some Parmesan cheese that we're gonna put there and then a little bit more butter. We've got about a half a cup of butter here. We're gonna let that go all the way through, okay? So there's your cauliflower. We'll top it with a little bit more cheese. Maybe a little bit more cheese because that's all gonna melt all the way down. And now we'll crank up our pellet smoker to about 450. I'm putting it at 475 and we're just gonna put this right back inside and let that cook until all of that cheese starts to melt. All right, so after about another 15 minutes or so, this is what your cauliflower should look like. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that, you've got nice golden brown color all over the top and you're able to stick a probe very easily all the way through. That's how you know that it's done. It's nice, soft, and tender all the way through. Now, if you want to, you can serve it just like this in the cast iron. We're gonna quarter ours and put a little chopped parsley right over the top of it. 
Boy, that smells fantastic. It is not every day that you get cauliflower like this. So to quarter, we're just gonna go straight down the middle and straight down the middle that way, both sides. One, turn it. And two. Got to be a little bit careful because it's so soft and brittle, it wants to come apart a little. So just scoop it up and set it down. We'll grab a little bit of fresh parsley. You don't need much. We'll just sprinkle that right over the top. So we'll add just a little bit of sprinkled parsley right over the top. And then if you want to make sure you get all of the flavors, you can come back to this pan that you've cooked and you've got all of that butter, and you can just drizzle that butter all the way across. Be careful, this pan gets really hot, so make sure you hold it with something. And there you go. There you've got the best cauliflower you've ever had for your dinner tonight, and I guarantee your guests are gonna love it. It's a simple recipe that you can do in about 45 minutes right on the pellet grill. When you're cooking something else, just put it right off to the side. I'm Daniel Mosnet with Cowboy Charcoal. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe all of our media channels. We'd love to hear what you have to say or any recipes that you wanna see us cook. Until next week, keep cooking with Cowboy. Cowboy.